Hello, welcome back to The Crafty Organizer and the 12 Shares of Christmas. I'm excited about today because it's a viewer request. Let's get started. I got this request a few weeks ago from Carolyn Evans. She said, I would love some ideas for displaying Christmas cards as they arrive. I've seen one YouTuber place Dollar Tree hanging plaques together, making one big square, covering it with fabric, and wrapping twine around the board and using medium clothespins from Dollar Tree. But that's what today's video is all about, creating wonderful displays for those greeting cards as we get them. Let's get started. The first two ideas are actually what I have done in the past. I've just gotten a pretty decorative basket or a box and I've just let them rest inside and I actually keep them from year to year. But if you're looking for something a little bit different, of course you can always put them in a longer box and display them on a mantle or a tabletop. But if you're looking for wall space, get a large frame. These are so easy to make out of extra wood or buy a thrifted frame. Put in some sort of wire in the back or even chicken wire or you can string across ribbon and twine and you are able to hang them. You can also make garland this way by just adding some decorative trees or snowflakes to the tops of the clothes pins. How about spray painting a hula hoop and again using that same twine or ribbon so that you can clip the cards to that. The nice thing about making a hoop is you can also use other materials to make the hoop whatever size you want and you can dress it up to match your aesthetic. I love this one by intertwining the beads in between. It really looks like a standalone decoration, but then as those cards start coming in, you can easily attach them around the outside. Here's another spin on one of the hanging card holders. By getting one long piece of a dowel or a piece of wood, you can hang snowflakes, snowmen, trees, and just intermix the cards as you get them. If you're tight on space, why not create a Christmas tree on your wall and make the decorations, the cards, and photos as they come in. You could get really creative with these, and if it's a small space that you have, you can certainly size this down to fit your space. If this is something you'd like to do year after year, why not make a clothespin tree out of some scrap wood? I think this is absolutely adorable and will fill your home with cheer. If you have a larger scrap of wood, go ahead and attach those small clips standing up and make it a welcome board for an entryway. Again, this can be sized to whatever space you have and you can get the greeting for whatever you celebrate. I think this is what my viewer was talking about by piecing a couple of boards together. You can use stickers, freehand, or Cricut a greeting across the top. By stringing twine back and forth and smaller clips, this becomes not only a beautiful display, but allows you to add the cards as you get it and it can be used year after year. I think this idea is super cute and is so affordable. This is an upside down tomato cage. They just wrapped the base with some paper or fabric, wrapped the top so that those pointy edges aren't harming anyone, and now they have the perfect place to display all those cards. And again, what's great about this is it doubles as decor and could easily put away when you're done with it. This one was my favorite. This came from a magazine, but I think you can find shutters pretty inexpensively. I actually see them used pretty often. By just painting it in a festive color or whatever matches your decor, you have the perfect place to slide in all of those greeting cards and photographs that you get, and you can absolutely decorate it so that it matches year round, and you can just update it as the seasons change. So I just went to my Lowe's website, I typed in window shutter and I got all types of different options. But if you go through and you just sort it by price, you'll get a better idea of what price points are in your area. Once I changed it to this, I found that the tall shutters started right around $24. I think that's pretty reasonable if you wanted a large decor piece that would store flat under a bed behind a closet door, but you could bring it out each season and have a great way to display your cards. The nice thing is, is if you did like the window shutter, you could display it on the back side and have a sentiment that could be displayed year-round and that way you don't have to find a place to store it at all. 
Thank you, Carolyn, for coming up with this suggestion. I love this idea. I hope one of these gives you an idea for displaying cards. Something a client of mine did, and I thought this was genius. If you've always struggled with sending out cards each year, you don't know if the addresses are updated, what one of my clients did is she has a little station at her front door with greeting cards, pens, and stamps. And as she receives cards, she simply writes down the current address that it was received from and sends out cards as she gets them. That way she doesn't have to keep a giant master list. She only sends them to people who send them to her and it keeps it simple because she could just take a few seconds, jot down a current thought based on what they send it's easy peasy. I loved that idea. So Sandy, if you're watching, I love that idea and I'm so happy to share it. I hope you enjoyed today's share. Please leave a comment about what your favorite was or if you have a different way that you display your greeting cards. Make sure that you have clicked the notifications so that you get notified when I'm posting. Again, right now I'm doing it every day through Christmas Eve as the 12 shares of Christmas. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you to you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I hope you enjoyed. Oh my gosh, enjoyed. Why can't I do that? I know my no did stuff, but it doesn't need to do that.